Okay, so let's create, let's start the bomb game with creating our walls and rooms. So let's go to sprite and let's create a sprite. We'll label that sp underscore wall. And let's create that. And click new. And let's zoom in a little bit so that we can see what we're doing. And we can get a little fancy with the wall. Um, go ahead and select a color, color it in, and then maybe use the box and color that in, maybe a different, different color. Something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter about the color. Um, let's go ahead and click check and check. Now we've created this sprite and we are going to create the object for that now. And so let's go to object and ob underscore wall and let's assign it the wall. And with walls we like to make them solid. So go ahead and check solid and let's hit OK. In our next object, actually, let's create the rooms. We'll create the rooms. To create a room, uh, right up here next to object, go to create a room. And let's go ahead and you can scroll, using your scroll wheel, zoom in and out. Let's go ahead and change the dimension. So where you go, uh, click on the tab settings. And let's just change that to 800 and the height being 600. Okay, so we can increase or decrease the size of the room. And let's hit check. And when you go back to that room, let's zoom out so that you can see this. I want you to go to wall under objects and hold down shift and just drag and create a room. Oh, messing this up. Just right click and delete it. I'm holding down shift and just dragging. Okay. And like so. And then we can hit check for OK. And let's go ahead and create another room. And that'll automatically drop it down below your first room. And the settings, let's go ahead and make that consistent 800 by 600. Let's zoom out, go to objects, and we want the wall, right? It's the only object we have. And this time, let's go ahead and make sure it's 2D, All right? Like so. down shift and drag and when you're done with that go ahead and hit OK and let's do one more one more room and do the same thing but this time we want it to be 3d so go to settings go to 800 by 600 and go to objects and we're already set on wall So I'm almost there. Um, if you mess up by a lot, you can hold down shift and just instead of left clicking, right click, and then you can just take them away. That might be a little bit easier when deleting. 